right, Shani, so the death of Mad Cats left a big gap in the fighting, like, all the arcade stick market. Mm. They decided they wanted to make keyboards and mice. It's already a pretty flooded market. Rip Mad Cats. So it left a bit of a gap in the market for people to come in. So we yeah. had the existing names, the Quambas and the Horries. Uh, they came out with sticks, a little bit kind of, I guess, thinner, lighter sticks. Uh, I, I don't know, more Japanese style, whatever. Razor, of all people, released a, a stick. They released the Panthera, and now they've got the Panthera Evo. Nacon is the latest person to come along and decide that they want to release a stick. Now, they're known for, obviously, their, their controllers. They've mm. got the Revolution. They've got a few other, the smaller, cabled controllers. Yeah. And that's more their domain. So yep. they decided to come into the fighting stick market. And to be fair to them, like, it's a pretty good stick. Like, for, so, for, for a first cab off the rank. For a first cab off the rank, it is a fairly good stick. But coming into it, the first thing you've got to know is it's not a budget stick. So... You are getting quality a lot with this stick. You are getting all your, you know, your nice, maybe not somewhere, maybe uh, Hayabusa buttons or whatever. Yeah. But, like, you're getting a high-quality product and everything about this stick is fairly high-quality. There's a few issues here and there, but still, it actually comes out pretty nice. Well, let's go into it so we can give mm -hmm. people a better idea, a better understanding of what we're talking about. So, yeah. like you say, the first thing you do notice is it is... It is big, it's yeah. thick, it, it, it has a, a density, it has a weight to it mm -hmm. that some of, especially again, the Japanese ones, or the, the Chinese ones don't have. Yeah, so you, honestly I do enjoy the tactile like weight of it. It just helps that, you know, mashing your buttons, if you are that weird mashing style, <laughs> you will, if you are like that, you won't be having any actual movement of your... Yeah. It's, it's like, built solidly. Yeah, so even if you've got it on your lap and stuff, it will probably stay there when you're actually playing with it, like... Yeah, vigorously. Vigorously, it's probably the Playing right way. Playing with the stick vigorously, yep. Yeah. But other than that, there's a few other things that you should know about the stick. Customization? Yes. Let's start with there. So that, that, that is a thing. So uh, we, we mentioned, of course, you know, that the Panthera has this ability as mm -hmm. well. You can just pop it straight open and it does this. So very similarly, the Nacon has those abilities as yeah. well. Yeah. So it's got a few of the small tools that you need for, like, if you want to change your stick to your Korean-style top head. But, you know, nobody, nobody, wants, to, nobody wants to Some people like Korean sticks, man. Yeah. Other things you've got, you know, you've got your screwdriver, but it's a hex you got drive. The, the magic key. The magic. And this tool is very handy. Yeah, Shane wants know. to steal it just to have in our, uh, our assorted box of tools. So, yeah, if you do need to change your pieces here and there, you can t change your shaft and everything like that. Wow, man, this, this one's way more blue than the last one. Okay, Let, uh, other stuff you can do with some of the tools. And, and this, this is probably, I would say, the main thing that separates it mm. is, is the ability to unscrew that bad boy. Take off the faceplate and take change Take off your perspex perspective and change your art. Yeah. And it is, that is so such a throwback. Mm. You know, like we were discussing it earlier. It's like iPhones and stuff. A lot of the sticks have... Uh, they, they've got either art, so you buy like the Dragon Ball Panthera, mm -hmm. for example, or you buy a thing, and it's the standard colour, it's a standard thing. Yeah. So you've got that, and that's what it is. So it, it's that thing of, um, you can't change it. No. It, it. People put stickers on it, people put whatever on it, but you can't change it. This is art. fully customisable. Yep. So. so that's probably one of the biggest great things about it. Other than that, you know, you've got a fair amount of space in here. So if you want to keep some stuff in here and stuff, it should be all fine too. Yeah. Um, yeah, keep your lunch, it's a bit of room for a sandwich, maybe a stuffy. juice box, but I wouldn't risk it. That and all the wiring stuff, it's all very so well all, done. Like, yeah, the, the, like, all of it's there, ready to go, and yep. that is the thing. So the nice thing about that is, and this is probably the point of contention, this is probably your mm -hmm. biggest point of contention, is yeah. the feel of the buttons. Yeah. These buttons are a little bit, I want to say hoary buttons. Mm. They're still somewhere, I'm pretty sure the, the, the mechanism is somewhere. I believe so, yeah. The stick feels nice, we haven't broken it in, uh, but the buttons are a bit... Hoary. And I don't know, like... So by hoary we mean more like it's fairly the shallow deep. presses? Yeah, well, yeah. Sh well, like the press itself is shallow, but like you do go a fair way down. Yeah. It's fairly loud, clicky sound. So if you do like to make a fair amount of noise with your buttons, that can sometimes throw off your opponents if you do like yeah. that kind of Just stuff. Just clackety, 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 clack. But you can also, you know, if opponents do like to listen to your inputs, who does, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. There, that, there is those the kind of things if you want to worry about. It's more about tactile feel. And that is one of those tactile things. But again, because it's so customizable, you can pull the whole assembly out, yep. change the button the whole way through to the switch. You yep. know what I mean? So, so again, it has that customization, yep. which a lot of people will appreciate with mm -hmm. it. Like we've discussed, though, you prefer that kind of the, the heavier ones that come standard with the Panthera. Yeah. But it's not that hard to jump Switch on the old on. eBay, swap them over. Yeah, exactly. If that's your, your thought process. The other thing you've got, you've got your buttons on the side, so you've got all your start select, your home buttons, all on the side. Even your 
touch pad with the, you know, soul calipers. Mm. Yeah, that's some things with other sticks not having that, and then you can't actually get out of the mm. button test menu. Yeah, nice. Yeah. So, but the one big thing that it does have that is uh, not necessarily unique to this, but is very handy, is the fact it has a PC mode. Like straight away, you just switch the thing over, and it works on PC. So the Panthera doesn't exactly have that, but they have drives installed when you yeah. download, and you can play it on PC. It's all fine. Quamba has that, but I had Don't issues with yeah, Quamba, yeah, yeah. and there's no actual online drivers. That was an issue. This switched to PC, plugged it in, reads an X. It's input. like X input, is it? Yeah. yeah so yeah. it straight uh, like reads up as an Xbox controller, and all good. Like so that means you know if you do like like yourself, you have Street Fighter or mm. Tekken or whatever on PS4, and you have it on PC. Yeah. Bang. Yeah, Literally exactly. one switch, and it'll work on both. Yeah. So that again in itself is is a handy. Like addition to the thing, we mentioned you mentioned it earlier when we were discussing it. Was the only other thing that you would think from a tactile sensation is having this much space for your wrist to sit. Now, yeah. again, that's a, your mileage may vary. Everything we're saying about this that we we've noticed is stuff where you, you or me may not like it, but it may be exactly what someone else is looking so for. So yeah, the front part here is a bezeled kind of like tactile yeah, guess, feel. Yeah, like yeah. so, you basically you know you've got a weird kind of sensation on your wrist here when you're uh, pr putting it there. You don't actually have the angle that some of the Pantheras also have, yeah. or the Panthera does have, so if you like it resting on your angle and with you on your wrist, you don't have that on this stick. But, like, honestly, the bezel just, feels nice it feels, as well. Yeah, but, it's, like, it's, 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 again, it's one of those things, even if you're not used to it, when you start playing it, you'll get used get to it used very quick. Yeah. The other one thing we probably should mention as well is the actual cable tray. So, uh, unlike the Pantheras, which are the screw, screw. bolts, yep. so this, this is... Straight in here, there's cable about like 1.5 meter or whatever a length. It's probably the one part where you're going to actually have the weakness. It's a plastic clip and it's a, it's a spring hinge. Yeah. And so I think after repeated presses, you might have some issues there. But I mean, we haven't noticed any and you know, we've, yeah, exactly. you've had it for a while now. So it's, it's been interesting to see. I guess the hard question becomes, and you, meant, you, you touched on it briefly at the start, the Quamber Obsidian comes in at a not necessarily half the price, but about 60% of the price. Yes. Yeah. This is line price with the Razer. Mm. Now, again, Razer came into the market like, I mean, they'd never done an arcade stick before. Yeah. Uh, so they came in fairly fresh, but they had a reputation for doing hardware. Nacon are the new kids on the block, and a lot of their controllers are really, really good. I use the Revolution pad myself. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be tough for them to breach that market and sit at that price range. I, like, I, I worry whether being line priced with the Razer will hurt them a little bit. It may be a weakness there, but that said, it's still a fairly high quality stick. And a lot of this stuff that you find that, you know, or maybe it's your first kind of train stick, yeah. there's none of those issues there. No. So yeah, this isn't like the Venom, where the it was Venom, yeah. very much a budget stick. And as a result, it was great for a budget stick, but it was a budget stick. Yeah. This is solid. It's got all the bits you need. If you want to learn how to play with it and fix your stick and you know, all those things, it's all there ready yeah. to go. So it, it's a different value proposition. Yeah. So honestly, it's probably more tactile feel. If you like this kind of tactile feel, it's definitely a good stick. If you like the razor, maybe just go. There. But but at the same time, you wouldn't be hard pressed if this exactly. is what you ended up with. 